we're just touching uh, 20 past 1. Um, volunteers are starting to arrive and looking at their weather forecast for the next three to four hours I'd say we're just about going to scrape the rain. It's still actually quite warm out for this time of the morning. Candles are going out, t-shirts are getting ready. <laughs> Lots going on behind the scenes here. At about 5,000 last year we anticipate between six and seven. So those that are manning all those junctions at first aid getting buzzed up now, the crowds are going to be coming along very soon and we've got loads of volunteers. Downstairs we've got the crew setting up registration so they're coming in in drips and drabs. It's probably a little bit early, it's only like 23 minutes past two. It's, um, it's drizzling outside, the forecast isn't too brilliant. Um, I think there's going to be a bit more rain about 4am when the walk starts. We have 4,000 bottles of water, we have loads of apples, oranges, biscuits. It's eight minutes past three now. The rain has stopped. Hopefully it'll hold off till the walk is over. The first lot of the walkers are arriving there now. And all the volunteers have arrived. Everything is set up now, ready to go. And hopefully now it'll be a great night. <laughs> That's my life. I love you. Bye. It's going to look like it's a lovely sunny morning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> morning, how are you? So in the Europe's we've been the celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so this morning's like the Oscars without the glamour and the limo and the makeup. This morning last year I remember standing here thinking what the hell am I doing with this washing machine. One year later we made it back from Belfast to Waterford and um, Pied House is opening in a couple of weeks time in the city and it's just been a fantastic adventure and this morning is a celebration of that. So there's probably people that have been dying to find out what's the washing machine been doing over the last day? Uh, um, this morning is the first time it's been on my back because it hasn't moved from my sitting room for a year. We put some stereo speakers inside it and we used it as a subwoofer so it's been uh, blasting out tunes all year and uh, do you know I, I had this great idea I was going to put it in a skip and throw it out but I there's a lot of special memories attached to it and uh, I think there's a lot of money yet to be made for Pieta House with this washing machine but this morning is its first outing and I'm really starting to feel it already I'm not sure if I'm going to get the whole way around <laughs> We have a massive crowd here despite the rain and water and we're really looking forward to starting very shortly.
The Darkness Into Light event is really a call to action uh, for people to join together in solidarity to create awareness on the issue of suicide and self-harm in this country. We're hoping that 130,000 people nationwide would have turned out uh, to walk from the darkness into the light. We're delighted to say we'll be opening a centre in Waterford City uh, in June or July of this year. Fantastic, fantastic. Somebody said to me this morning, pity about the rain, and I said, what rain? I didn't see any rain. I saw smiling people, I saw cheering people, I got fantastic abuse this morning. Why haven't I got a tumble dryer instead of a washing machine? Uh, some of the guards at the roundabout asked me how my midlife crisis was going, which I thought was really good. Fantastic morning. It's a great celebration. You know, there are some very sad people here today who've lost family and friends and remembering them, but there are also people here today celebrating light and celebrating hope. That's what today was about, you know. It's fantastic to be here. I'm looking forward to a really nice hot shower and a big fry up, and I'm going straight back to bed. <laughs> and that's